In today's video, we will see how to read line based inputs in C++. So far we've seen how to read white space delimited inputs using a steady colon colon C in. Now let's see how to read an entire line of string using a steady colon colon get line. To call this method a steady colon colon get line, you need to include a steady you need to include string. So this function std colon colon get line is defined within uh, the file string. Let's begin by going through the code. First in line 18, I'm declaring a variable called line. Its type is string. So this variable will be used to hold the user's input. Now within the while loop, we're calling std colon colon get line to read a new line. And then we will display this new line red using stdc out. So the while loop will ask the user to enter a new line and then will display the line red using std colon colon get line. Now std colon colon get line takes two arguments. The first argument specifies what is the input stream from which we want to read the inputs. Here we want to read inputs using std colon colon cn. So the first argument is cn. The second parameter specifies where to store the user's input. Here we want to store the user's input in this variable called line, which is of type string. So the second argument is line. Now we can provide an additional argument to this function, which is the delimiter. By default, the delimiter is the new line character. So we will read an entire line using std colon colon get line. However, you, when, you, when you want to change the delimiter to something else, you can provide an additional character to this function. Now notice this function will execute as long as we enter a new line. However, we want to exit the loop when the user enters uh, quit. To do this, we can add an if condition within the while loop, wherein we check whether the line that is read is equal to equal to quit. If it's equal to equal to quit, we will break from the loop. So this is the new uh, statement that we are seeing in C++. So the break statement is used to exit the loop even when the loop condition is satisfied. Notice when the user inputs quit, std colon colon get line will return a valid input. However, the loop will exit since we're checking for a uh, line is equal to equal to quit and if it's equal to equal to quit, we will break from the loop. So the break statement is useful to exit the loop based on a condition. Now let's run this program and enter a few lines. The first line that I will enter is my name is Aniket. Notice the line that is displayed is also my name is, not my name is Aniket. So even though this line has a few uh, white spaces, the entire line is read until the new line character and is displayed back. Now let's try a few different lines. This is comp 6005. Again, the entire line is read and displayed. Now let's check what happens when we type quit with an uppercase Q. So I want to check whether this equal to equal to operator is case sensitive or not. If it is not case sensitive, this should uh, exit the loop. If it's case sensitive, we will see quit being displayed on the console. Now notice the while loop is still running. That is, we see this print statement quit, which means that this uh, condition here is case sensitive. That is only when we type quit with a lowercase q, this condition is satisfied and the break will be uh, executed. Now let's see what happens when we hit continue or when I use step over to just execute this single line break. Again, break is useful to jump uh, lines of code in C++. Here I'm checking whether line is equal to equal to quit and I want to use break to exit the loop. So when I execute this line, the program execution should jump from line 22 to line 28. So let's see how that happens. So notice when I hit step over, the execution changed from 22 to 28. Now let's see how to use std colon colon c in and std colon colon get line in the same program simultaneously. So here I'm using std colon colon c in to read white space delimited inputs. 
I'm declaring two variables first a variable to hold a uh, name which is of type string and second a variable to hold age which is of type integer then we will use std colon colon cn to read a name and age like how we've been doing so far and then we will ask the user to input the place where they live and then read it using std colon colon get line so the place could have spaces in between it can have punctuations in between or anything else and we want to read the entire line as a single string into this variable called line. And again, we will display the uh, place using the cout statement in line 38. So let's continue the execution and then input. So I will input my name as Aniket. And then I will input the age, let's see, 43. And now notice the program was supposed to go to line 35 where it prints where do you live and then wait at line 37 for the user to input the place however we see the print statement you live at in quotes an empty space now the reason why the program continued the execution that is it did not wait at line 37 for the user's input is because the previous input that the user provided was 43 followed by a new line character now stdc in only reads 43 from the input stream and leaves the new line character within the input stream and when std colon colon get line is executed in the next line it reads the new line character from the input stream which is displayed in line 38 so notice since new line character is in this input stream which is read into the variable line we see that line is currently empty and that is what is printed on the terminal now to overcome this we can use std colon colon c in dot ignore which we also used in the last homework to ignore a, a particular character within the input stream so here i want to ignore everything until the new line including new line character in the input stream before i call std colon colon get line so suppose we want to use scene and get line simultaneously to read white space delimited inputs and an entire line of string we need to use std colon colon scene dot ignore before we call get line to ignore all the white spaces that can be left over in the input stream so now let's execute the program again and check whether this will fix the issue Okay, so now notice I can provide a name and an age by uh, white space uh, by delimiting it with white space. This should work. So now uh, my name is Aniket, my age should be uh, 47, and then the program is waiting for us to enter the place. So now let's enter the place as Salt Lake City comma utah and notice that the, the print now has the city that we specified which is salt lake city comma utah and if we go back and check variable age is 47 variable name is any case so you can use white space to delimited uh, inputs to read in you can use std scene to read inputs delimited by white space and you can use std colon colon get line to read an entire line of string however if you want to mix both of them in the same program you need to be careful and make sure that all the new line uh, characters uh, are ignored in the input stream before you call std colon colon get line so this concludes this video thank you